Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're uh, still on the Tempest where uh, I'm gonna soon head back to the Nexus because we have a few tasks over there. But I think it's high time we start uh, getting acquainted with the crew of the Tempest. So let's talk to Suvi as a start. Hello, Suvi. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself it's splendid yeah it does have a kind of beauty i suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon darkly beautiful i like that helios is incredible isn't it not just constructs like the scourge and the remnant vaults just all of it so alien a constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation Divine intelligence? Do you mean a god of some sort? You mean... a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. Hmm. Well, I don't really feel like there is a higher power, but... I'm not gonna break her down for that either, but I don't really have a middle ground to choose from. So there is no higher power. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? Oh, I think it's rather early to start going into relationships, so... I'm not gonna talk... Uh, relationship-wise to her, romance-wise. So, uh, believe what you want, indeed. You are welcome to your beliefs. It's good to have different voices on the team. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. Indeed we will, Suvi. Thanks for the little chat. Um, what the hell was that? Email terminal. Holy shitballs. From Dr. Aridana, hello Ryder, forgive the intrusion, I have an issue that you and Sam should be able to re readily resolve. It may assist my investigations into the Scourge, we can dis discuss it in person at the Nexus Labs. Astrophysics lead in the Nexus Tech Lab, okay, let's acknowledge that. From Cora, thanks for talking, things feel better though they don't feel fixed yet. Remember to take time for yourself though. Uh, two, work's important but so is time to grieve. Grief and fear cannot rule you. Let them be your faithful servants, protective of their mistress. Loss serves a huntress like fuel serves fire. From the twelve leaves, apparently. P.S. Plants are coming along. Sam and I are learning about botany together. Interesting times. Okay. Then uh, that vault from Cora as well. Can still smell that remnant vault on my armor. A lot of weird shit down there. Like my huntress manuals would say... The razor's edge between known and unknown teaches you what can be cut away. Now I think back, it reminded me a little bit of some of the temples on Tessia. Same huge spaces and running water. Same sense of a huge purpose you can't really understand. Makes me wonder if we'll ever know what their builders did there. Interesting. And then the Tempest Hacks. Hello Ryder from Callow. I'm pleased to report the Tempest is operating at peak efficiency. So now that you're in command, I thought I'd share a few secret shipboard hacks that the designers and I sneaked into their code. Into her code. Just send the code JCSB through your Omni tool to open the debug command. Give all this pen lets you use the coffee dispenser in the galley an unlimited number of times. Water temp override overrides the normal hot water ration. In the showers, Jump Wash Q puts your clothing ahead of everyone else's in the auto laundry cycle. Enjoy, and don't share them around. <laughs> you can hack your own ship, though I don't think that's actually a function. From Suvi, the writer, I'm grateful for our talk earlier, even if we ended up disagreeing. Debate can be invigorating. She sent that email rather quickly. And then about your dad from Drac. Vetra told me what happened to your dad. I've lost a lot of people over the years. Figured you could use some cheering up, or at least a distraction. This usually helps. Drac has attached 37 images of various rifles and shotguns. Two are duplicate images. Many are low res or watermarked. Okay then. Yoga poses from Lexi. 
Given the amount of hype impact cardio on your exercise routine, I recommend spending 5 to 10 minutes a day stretching to open your hips, excuse me, and relieve tightness in the lower back. The poses I've listed below should do nicely. Not to sound elitist, but while it's true humans invented yoga, the Asari perfected it. Currents bow, blah blah, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna read all those. Please let me know if you need diagrams or vids. I don't think we need those, but... From PB, hey Ryder, I hope it's okay that I'm keeping this data core in my room. I guess I just really like to ponder things before bed. The best ideas come to me while I'm half asleep. Also, I saw it first. Anyway, we know for sure it's got some sort of data in it. The trick is how to get at it. I'll keep you updated, PB. I'm gonna need to uh, stop by her as well and then carry to Vessa. Hello, Paul Finder, I'm a freelance fit maker and I could really use... I think we read that already. Thank you. There we go. So we have the firefighter speak with Dr. Aridana. And anything else? AVP cryo deployment works. Yeah, we already had that, I think. So hello, Callow. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? Hmm, it's exhilarating. I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I would have done the same thing if we, uh, if you were building a ship this size and never got to fly it. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Yeah, you have an amazing mm -hmm. memory. Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. That might not be all that positive, because I don't think remembering pretty much everything in that detail might always be handy. Any word on the Solarian arc? Did that's you hear one anything of the about the back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. We'll find him, because I don't think he'll like the fact that I start about Tan. Although I want his opinion about that. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Thank you, Callow. And nice to meet you too. So, I'm gonna quickly fiddle with the settings for a second because I've noticed while editing that the the sound effects during gunfire might be a, a bit loud, so I do apologize for that. There we go, that should have done it, I hope. Um, I should still activate the ship, but I'm gonna just take a look around and see where everybody went. Because there's a lot going on in this ship. You're setting up in here, huh? And there we have PB. Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Interesting. So, wow, that was indeed a lot of information. So she's living in the escape pod at the moment. Might be a bit weird, since we might actually need that at some point. But... Yeah, are you not sticking around? Slow down, will you? Not sticking around. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. 
and that we will. Boredom drove you here. You crave excitement, huh? Maybe I... Yeah, I want to go with PB for now. That might be interesting. Because she was talking about a little personal project back at the Nexus, and I'm wondering what that is as well. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> did I say that out loud? Yeah, you did. Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Wow, that was interesting. I knew uh, Asari were more prone to uh, lesbian behavior, but I don't mind at all. Uh, sleep is an excellent cure. But yeah, boredom drove you here. You left everything and everyone you knew because you were bored? No, I came with someone I knew. Then she got bored with me. <laughs> Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Okay, that's all I need to know. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes, I'm number one! <laughs> Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. That sounded again, awfully dirty. I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Um, I think we have quite a bit of that already. What is she doing? Her hands are going through the table, and it appears like she should be holding something, but she's not. What the hell are you doing, PB? Okay, uh, I'm gonna assume for now... Oh, there's the escape pod, so we technically could use it. Um, I could talk further, but I, assuming that we've uh, exhausted the dialogue for now, and I don't want to spend it all at the same time, so let's go down. Because we still have Vetra and Drac to talk with. Maybe even Liam. Quit worrying, Rushan. It'll be fine. Okay, that was Drac, but I don't know. I think I went the wrong way for Drac. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Wait, we already knew that because we've been here already. But never mind. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you, Dr. DePero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. Stab. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. Oh, don't worry about it. You'll be great. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. Yeah, we all but have I think... Days. All doctors I do that, right? To work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive; it helps. I What's guess with the this weird is my noise in the background. To study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here, uh, what? A cat corpse for autopsy. I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. That's convenient. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. You're full of surprise. No, Jesus, you can't start a relationship with everybody on the ship here. Um, an anatomist and a physician. Interesting thesis. We kind of know about Krogan virility, although I do want to know what she's going to say about that. That's a very specific topic. I grew up on Omega. Lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Okay, then. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. Okay, then. Oh, wow. Okay, she, she just moved away. That is a giant corpse, by the way. But that's where I can respect, because we've seen that already. And I checked that out, so... Great. Um, I heard Drac talking, and I think it came from behind me. And don't give the there we go. Too much there he don't is. Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. 
Who are you talking to? Cash? Cash, Nexus superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Oh. No trouble is ideal. Uh, let's, let's keep him happy. He'd like trouble. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think. There we go. Pushed his Ugh, buttons. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tan. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Um, the Nexus has supplies if you want to. Your people had to know what it'd be like when you left the Nexus. We did, but there weren't a lot of options. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. And what is your relationship? Well, we know what his relationship is with Cash. She's his granddaughter, so... Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Yeah, we're glad to have you at our, at our sides, at least, so I understand why you left. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Okay, and that just faded to black, so thanks, uh, Drac. Uh, and it said, there's still that assault rifle on the table. It kind of makes more sense now that Drac is in the kitchen. There's a weapon on the table, but it didn't really, didn't really make much sense before that. Is anybody else here? That's the crew in full board. Ooh. Uh, dinner tonight. Sorry, everyone. I forgot we were taking turns and half the rations aren't unpacked yet. Got you covered, Calo. There's soup in the galley. Extra and lever for me and fruit cocktail for Vetra. And to think we might have left port without you. Yeah, indeed. And then the coffee mug. Found a mug yesterday near the bio lab. Nice one with a magnetized base. You left it stuck sideways to a bulkhead. That's mine, I just put it down for a sec when my hands were full. Next time maybe empty it first. <laughs> okay then, so uh, coffee was spilled. Who else are we missing? Petra. Petra. She must be here, probably tending to the nomad and everything else. Petra. Because I think I found her here before as well. If you're looking for me, I'm in the escape pod room. Yeah, yeah baby, I, I, I know. You already talked to you. Where the hell... Where the hell is Vetra? Vetra. Ooh, there's another level up there as well. Let me quickly check over here. Oh. There we go, I think. Cutscene. Nope. Pathfinder, That's Liam. Something? I know, not exactly standard. There's the sofa he was talking about. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Did that sentence make... Yeah, where did you even find the couch? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few piece actions. Think about your alliance days much? What was Hustle? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one. Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. Okay, and what does the L stand for? H-U-S-T-1, but Hustle looks much ah. better on the patch. Okay, there we go. All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Who would have loved to see that for a second? That bubble days looks terrible. About those days. Um, I don't think about... Yeah, I do miss all that. I wanted exploration, to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. Probably because of Daddy? Um, company like this. Nope, we're not going for Liam. 
we're definitely not going for Liam. Um, I needed to leave that life. Hmm, interesting. I was on a good path in the Alliance. Then everything fell apart. There wasn't much left for me. Andromeda was so far away, I figured, well, I figured if you're going to start over, start way over. Gotcha. Clean slate. Classic. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. Okay. But what is the real but it's reason? Bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. Um, yeah, and it puts the pressure on all of us. And not, uh, not many other teams, I believe, because we're doing all the hard work. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Yeah, because we're doing pretty good already. So, there's Liam. Now we still need to check up on Vetra. If we can find her. There's one more piece over here. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. There we go. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Hope I'm not interrupting something important. Not at all. We were just finishing up. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... Click. I'm sorry, Sid. So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. Um... I guess it beats the Nexus. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Hmm. Let's stay positive about her as well. Um, I don't mind starting a few of these parts, so you're intense, I like it. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. I'm not just some people. I really like the intensity. That's good. It's nice to feel appreciated. Yeah, and that got sexual really fast. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Okay, was that it? That was really short for some reason. Can I? I'm just gonna check up with her since she uh, only talked to us for a bit. If we can do anything else, it's starting something, but terraforming atmo processors, gravity wells, life destroying murder bubbles. We really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> and that's why it's an adventure, I suppose. If we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Blah. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. Yeah, the plan is find a home, because that's why we're here. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. Ooh, and there we go. Anyone special in your life? Jesus. We can keep going, can't we? Um, you mentioned back channels. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who and what they're willing to take in exchange. Hmm. Sounds a bit too easy. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. Okay. Did you witness the uprising? You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. 
But why would the initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. Now, if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. Yeah, because I don't think... As she's saying, they don't really have a reason to lie to us because they don't get anything out of it for now. Especially if the whole thing just fails. Uh, how did you join the initiative? How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually I figured out something was going on. Something big with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. And then of course, just because I'm curious, is there anyone special in your life? Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? <laughs> yeah, no, ta no time or hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, yeah. Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. Then again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway. I do like, she's kind of really the female Garrus, because she kind of responds the same way to romantic advances as Garrus did. A kind of ashamed, unexpected about it. So I'll let you go. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Yeah, indeed. So that kind of proves that there's a lot more dialogue behind this, but I'm going to try and spread that out a bit so you don't get everything at the same time. The only one I do want to have a chat with again is PB. Because maybe we can pry something out of her. A bit more of a backstory, because she kind of has me intrigued. Is there anybody else here? Because there seems to be another area over here. Seems like the engineering bay. Okay, there we go. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it. Huh? Gil or Jill? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? <laughs> Slumming it. Someone has to. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. You and many others, have, as we've heard. I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and... Oops. I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Um, well, not me specifically. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Tomato, potato. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Deal indeed. Um, anything else here I need to check out? Because that, I think, concludes our tour of the Tempest, which was actually really, really enlightening. Got a, I'm, I'm always glad that we can I'm do in these. The uh, when you're free. Yeah, I, I know. Tra Jesus, we, we just did all that. So I've, been, I've just been talking to everybody in the last half hour. Uh, but as I said, I'm just going to quickly talk to PB again to see if she can't tell me anything else. Hello, Peebs. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? What's that mysterious project you were talking about? Indeed. You really won't tell me what you're working on? That's right. Next question. <laughs> okay, awesome. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. 
After I found my first remnant ruin, I started uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. Hmm, funny, flirting. <laughs> that, that is, ju just, just go for flirting, that is simple. Um, so, y yeah, why not, eh, flirting? What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. <laughs> but I get a little extra jolt when I matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. Alright, she's really, really loose about this, isn't she? Um, anyone special? You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone. Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? Sounds lonely. I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. Oh, I want to give her a hug. Uh, what is your opinion on the Tempest crew? So, how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Cora. Well, there's... Oh, right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? <laughs> My turn to talk. <laughs> Cora's a professional. She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across too. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's an Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. Fine. And what are your thoughts on the Remnant? What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. Sounds like a good idea, and I'm glad you're with us. So uh, I'll leave you to your work. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. We never will. Bye, peeps. I'm gonna just call her peeps. I'm gonna start using nicknames for everybody here. Oh, this is cool. Let's use the galaxy map and get back to the Nexus if I can. Oh, there it is. And the docking bay, yes indeed. Oh, and we get another cutscene. Or is this just the standard animation? I don't feel like it is. Never mind, it is. It most definitely is. Because it's even pre-rendered, because it's the same crappy quality. I don't know why they do that sometimes. Because this looks pretty bad. Still like the game though, but this looks pretty bad. A bit grainy. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. Yeah, I'm not right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros' aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. It's a good day to party. Just doing my job. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Thank Professor Herrick, right? Oh. What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. Yeah, and the outpost has a pretty good leader, I think. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. You're welcome. Seems like everybody's pretty happy about that. So, uh, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys. I do love how this thing also has its own atmosphere faking atmosphere but thank you guys enormously for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and if you haven't already don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel 
because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.